episode 22. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> and so um, this is a knitting podcast and basically I just like to talk about um, projects that I've been working on and things that I finished and I also have something called a tea corner where I talk about the teas that I've been drinking. So uh, just to get started I'm going to go ahead and um, show you my first project that I've been working on and it is in Mrs. Brown's bags one of her bags and it is a Heritage Prints yarn by Cascade color number 44 and this is the color it's like blues and greens so and I really like blue and green together kind of reminds me of the ocean I'm from California originally so okay and then um, the first sock that I have done is right here. I don't have the heel put into it, but I have it knit. And then um, basically I use um, something called uh, Lala's Afterthought heel um, pattern. And you just kind of knit a tube. And then this is a two by two rib. I start off with a two by two rib and then I knit a tube. And then right here I put in some waist yarn and it's purple, I don't know if you can see it. Then I'll pull that out and I'll put the heel in there after I'm done. And so I'm on my second one. So I did quite a bit of work on these. I don't believe I had them started on the last podcast. So there you go. I just really like the yarn. So I thought, well, I'll do this instead of all my other <laughs> projects that I have on the needles. So, all right. And so, and I also used my Knitter's Pride Carbons that are, these are the needles and they're um, they're six inches uh, long and then it's size 2 2.75 and that's kind of what I prefer to knit socks with so that the needles don't uh, or the stitches don't fall off the needles when they're in my bag okay and then the next project that I've been working on is also a new project so that's my first project that was new I'm just gonna lean down and get it <laughs> So, and this is in um, an older bag that I've had. Uh, the Silver Shed um, is the maker of this bag. And it's it's actually another podcast. And there's these two ladies, and they sit on a little couch and knit and talk. But it's called Stocking at Zombies. And her mom makes these bags, one of the girls. So, um, and in this bag, I have a new project. Um, I... I'm not sure how I had heard about it originally. I think it might have been on uh, Love Sock Wool on Sarah's podcast. And she was talking about making boomerangs, like a lot of them, because she loved it. And so I went on to search for um, the pattern. And when I look down, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm sorry, because I can't remember all the stuff that I'm going to talk about. So, um, yeah, so, um, yes, I heard about this boomerang, which is a little, kind of like a scarf. Um, it's kind of like a little shawl that you would wear as a scarf around your neck. And I, I wanted to start one. And so that I, then I, um, I looked online and I found a pattern that was in Dramatic Knits um, on one of his um, Ravelry pattern pages. It was like at the very bottom. It was kind of brief. It's like two lines or three lines or something like that. It was very short. And I started to try it, and I something was weird about the very beginning of it. I couldn't quite, with the instructions, he probably just knew in his head, but I, I couldn't get um, the amount of stitches right on the like first or second line. It was like super quick in the beginning of it. So I messaged both him and Love Sock Wool to see what they were doing. And uh, he wrote me back, and so did she. But, um, and so I got it, finally. I figured out what I was supposed to be doing. I don't know 
it was like I was reading it really super literally and <laughs> and there was like a couple of extra stitches they did something with it so anyway um, but I've got it now so um, I just show it to you here it is there we go and so it's a really super fun knit and this particular color is, um, I got this at my local yarn store, like maybe not this last Christmas, but the one before that, I think at the Christmas party actually that they had. And this is Happy Feet Splash, Happy Feet 100 Splash by Plymouth. And the color is um, Lipstick 103. And so it's just a sock yarn. And I thought that would be kind of cool to have a pink one, you know. I like pink with speckles. And so this is uh, my first uh, one of these patterns that I, I, I kind of was thinking I might do other ones. And maybe, so um, the receptionist at my work, the, um, she also knits. And so she was talking about wouldn't that be cool if we did different patterns inside of inside of the the just stockinette part and so we were going to look at some pattern books and see if we could come up with something so i'll let you know how that goes if we do yep and i kind of started this and then i kind of put it to the side and i started i got a <laughs> I got another set of socks on the needles that I got more excited about. So I started on those um, and I'll show you those next. <laughs> but I, I like this and I like knitting on it. Okay, so, and oh, I didn't tell you what size needle. I was using a size six Chigu uh, needle and I, I had gotten a, a set of them. They come in like a little zippered case and you can get um, sets uh, of the tips by themselves and then you just um, put the cords on whichever size uh, tip that you're using. Okay and so let me put that away. Okay and then the next um, the next project <laughs> is kind of I think this is it yeah this is it. Um, the next project is the one that I kind of put everything else aside for because I uh, <laughs> I got the yarn and I was like excited about it. I wanted to see how it knit up. Every time I get a self-striping yarn, I want to see how it knits up, you know? <laughs> I'm sure you're like that too. So let me just take a sip of my tea. Mm, I'll tell you about that kind of tea in the tea corner. It's just coming up right after this. And so the first, um, let's see, this bag that I, that I have it in, I'll talk about the bag first. Um, I don't know who the maker of the bag is. It doesn't have a name on it, but it's super cute. It's like springy and I can't quite remember who made the bag. But And I looked inside and on the outside and there's no tag on it. And I, I can never remember when there's no tag. Like I have a few by this person and I'm sure I got it off of Etsy. So, all right. And um, so the the socks that are in here that I was excited about that I put everything else down for was Desert Vista Dye Works. So I was online on Instagram, I think, and I saw her put this yarn up. She was like, uh, you know, showing pictures of it. It's called Frosted Peeps and it's self striping. So it, it does the little stripes. Here's what it looks like. And it's for, you know, for the holiday for, um, Easter. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? And I wanted to see how it knit up. So um, I, I actually have my first sock finished and I'm on my second sock. So I'll just show you this one. This is my second sock. And then I'll show you my first one in just a second. So I'm using Knitter's Pride Carbon size 2, 2.75. I'm just looking at my notes. Um, and then I decided I wanted to do a different color for the heels and toes. So I got out a bunch of different colors, but I decided on this one. This is a purple. And this one is by Frog Tree uh, Pettiboo uh, Sock Yarn. And it's color 1151. 
So I just got it out of my stash back there. I looked for something. I, w I had another purple that was, oh, well, this isn't it, but it was darker, kind of like this, and I didn't think it would be good. This is a worsted, so, but it was another purple. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, so this is what the first sock looks like. I finished it this morning. So I kind of like it. <laughs> and it does look like peeps. <laughs> it's cute. So, yep. So I'm going to finish the second one, hopefully, fairly soon, since I am motivated to finish this. I kind of wanted to wear them by Easter. Okay. All right. So that is my second... Um, sock project that was new that I just started this last week or this last uh, couple of weeks. And then um, my next project, just looking on my notes. Oh, okay. Let me get it. I'm sorry. It's on the ground. I'm sitting in a little chair. Okay. My next project is um, in this little uh, fox bag and it's by Molly Klein Designs. And it just kind of has a green inside like that. And I put these little poles on it because it kind of matched. And so this one is a, a new sock project also. All, all four of my projects are new. I don't have any finished projects this week because I was working on new things. But um, this is the yarn. And uh, let me see. Uh, it's, this is what it's called. It's from, um, from I, I purchased it on my trip to Canada with my mother, but it's called Hortensia. And then it looks like it is 0704. And it's not, it's not a Canadian yarn. I think it's from somewhere else. I was just looking to see. I don't know if it says. But it's super cool. It almost looks like, um, I also spin. I have spinning wheels. It almost looks like um, just a barber pulled sock yarn, which I bought a second colorway of this brand while I was there. I just couldn't wait to kind of see what it looks like. And you know what it's knitting up like? It's knitting up like, almost like watercolor painting, you know? It kind of reminds me of like, let me see if I can get a good... Kind of like that like watercolor paints or something it's really cool so I thought I would do with this I thought I would do um, I have some some uh, West Yorkshire Yorkshire spinners uh, yarn left over and I think this was called the blueberry colorway I didn't look it up but it doesn't say it on it but I kind of remember this is what that was called and I did some heels and toes for another set of socks out of this last Christmas I think but I thought that would be kind of cool with this. I'm not really getting a true kind of there. Maybe like that. You can kind of see. So I thought I would do the heels and toes with this. And it would look kind of cool. So there they are together. And I really like them. Also, um, the size needle. Let me see. I'm using... Um, Chaigu uh, 6 inch size 2, 2.75 needles, the DPNs for this set of socks. And oh, you know what? And I have a card for Molly Klein Designs right here. I'll just show it since I found it. There it is. I think I heard about her on another podcast or something like that. And I went on there just, I was just kind of looking around, not really needing to purchase another bag, but. Uh, <laughs> But it's so cute. Pink foxes with sweaters on. <laughs> okay. So then my next um, my next thing that I was going to talk about. Let me look and see. Oh, I did some rows on my granny stripe blanket. And so, um, so I've been... I made one blanket and then I'm on my second um, granny stripe blanket. Well, just scraps from socks that I've knit. And I was right here where this little cookie, it's like a snowman cookie uh, stitch marker is, progress keeper. And so I did just the rest of this. I went on a car ride with my boss um, up to the mountains last weekend, I think it was. And uh, we went to Glenwood Springs 
and uh, we went to the vapor caves and we went to spa treatments and things like that. So, yep. So I did this in the car on the way back and I did a lot of knitting on my other socks. All right, and so there we go. This was the Granny Stripes Blanket. I chained on 223 to begin. Um, the pattern is um, in a blog on the internet um, called Lucy of Attic 24. Granny Stripes Blanket is the post, I think is what it's called. And then it's a size F crochet hook. Okay. And it's just kind of a fun project to, you know, use the rest of your scraps on. Yeah. And every time I show it, it gets kind of, the camera makes it all kind of wiggly or whatever. And so I don't try to show too much of it. <laughs> just what I'm working on. Okay, so um, the next thing I was going to show is uh, tea corner. And uh, let's see. The first thing, oh, you know what? I'll show what I just was drinking. I have it in my teapot here. It's super delicious. And this is like an older teacup that I've had for a while. And it has like a little um, cottage on it. It's like an English cottage. It's super cute. I thought that I had a little um, saucer for it, but I don't know where it went. I don't know. So... But it's super cute. And the teapot is, oh, the teapot is here too. It, it actually has that little cottage on it also. There it is. So I just thought, that's cute. I'm going to get out my little teapot uh, with the cottage on it today. Okay, and so um, the tea that I have in this right now is this, uh, it's a new tea that I hadn't uh, tried yet. It's Bates Brambleberry Tea. And it's by uh, the Republic of Tea. It, it is, uh, and so Brambleberry is just like a blend of berries. So this particular one was black tea with raspberry, uh, blackberry, strawberry, and blueberry bits in it. And it's really delicious. So and it kind of seems like a springy kind of a tea. And then the next thing um, that I got was I, um, I got some Harney and Sons uh, tea. I had an order that I had placed. And I got Paris. And this one, it also was being sold over Valentine's Day um, as like a Valentine's Day kind of tea. And this one is a black tea. Um, Oh, I think I wrote it down in my notes. It has vanilla, uh, fruit, citrus, and black tea. So, and it's delicious. So this is a good, um, kind of like a morning tea, maybe. And then the next thing that I got, this was a gift for Valentine's. I don't have the lid on right. <laughs> there we go. This was a Valentine's tea uh, blend. And it is rose. Let me see. It's chocolate. Uh, tea and rosebuds. Oh wait, chocolate. Oh, chocolate tea with rosebuds. Oh, and vanilla. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't read my own writing. So um, that this is really good. I've been drinking this, and I brought it to work, and we had some at work, and it's it, it was good. I really like it. It's kind of more of like an after dinner or after meal tea, you know, like if you have a sweet tooth or something. Okay, and then I was going to show one more that's totally like summer tea, and I don't even know. I bought it a couple of weeks ago at Super Target, and I thought that would be really good as iced tea. And, and then it got warm here for a little bit, and so I was drinking it as iced tea, like I brought it to work, and um, Michelle is the receptionist. She and I were drinking it, and we were putting like slices of lime in it, and it's watermelon lime. And so we made it, we just brewed it like in, I think I brewed it in like cups, like a glass cup or a mason jar, real strong, you know, with just a little bit of water and then a couple of tea bags. And then we added some more water and sweetener or whatever what, that we wanted. I think we did agave maybe or something. And then, um, and then, oh, we did lime slices in it. So, and it was really good. It's, it's inexpensive, just, you know, a little iced tea like treat in the afternoon. So it was really good. 
So you'll have to try this. And I just got it at Super Target, so I'm sure they have it at other stores. I don't know. And then the last thing I was going to show you was um, a yarn um, purchase that I had. And this one came like right after I purchased the other um, uh, Heritage prints on the last episode that I showed. And I don't believe I showed you this colorway, but I uh, purchased this colorway. It's color number 40. I don't remember the name of it, but there's kind of what it looks like. It shows just going to be like a summer stripey kind of color with black in there too. So, so I can't wait to see what this knits up like. I suppose it will have, you know, the pink, purple, green, white, and then it looks like the, the black and white are kind of going to be stripey. Um, like maybe maybe like little squares or something in that, because it kind of looks like that. All right, so that's it. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully next time I have some finished objects to show you. <laughs> Bye.